Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. This is going to be a bit of a different video. We're going to move away from um, what's happening currently in regards to the markets. You know, we cover this daily. You guys are very clued up at this point on it. Certainly the, the, the uh, people that watch my daily content. And I really want to fall back on fundamentally what's going on here. Um, you know, what blockchain is doing and what the outcome of that is likely to be down the road. And, you know, I started this channel over two years ago. Bitcoin's price was around about the $7,000 mark. Um, and we essentially made lots of videos comparing what's happening with, when I first started the channel, um, what's happening with the blockchain space being very similar to what's happened with any prior tech revolution, whether that be the PC industry, whether that be the internet, uh, or even the motoring industry. And what we find is actually that today's largest companies are or was spawned out of these technological revolutions. And I'm here to argue, and I've always been arguing this case, that some, not all, many of the blockchains that we have around today will cease to exist. But some of the blockchains that we have to have today are going to be the biggest, not necessarily companies, but equities or whatever they get classified as out there. And the reason being is because tomorrow's world is going to be ran on blockchain. Just, just like today, everybody uses the internet. Most people have mobile phones. Everybody drives cars. Back when these technologies were first launched, they were met in the same fashion that crypto is now with a huge deal of skepticism and actually took a while to come into their own. Uh, and this is what we're going to be looking at in this video. This was a bit of a follow on. Um, we put a video out earlier where we looked at Larry Fink. Larry Fink is a giant. I've read books, biographies about him. You know, somebody that I followed very closely even before I was in crypto. Um, He's the largest asset manager in the world. And we played a clip in our daily update because I want to be a bit more, it's Christmas, guys. I want to be a bit more positive. We've been negative for the majority of the year on the price. But I want some positivity to share with you guys, you know, as we're getting into the festive spirit. And if you can pick the right cryptocurrencies to hold on to and to invest in into the future, your life is going to change. And I am as dead certain as that. It's the same thing that kept me in the market having gone through the bear market. You know, I got in here, rode it all the way up, did exactly what every investor does when they first get into markets. Buy way too high and then, you know, ends up having to, to hold it until it comes back. If you're lucky, which of course crypto has done. Um, but when we were in these lows, it, it, it was really a very trying time, just like what we're going through today. And what it was, was it was the belief and it's become more and more apparent than it ever was back then that this tech is going to change the world. And I don't, I'm not actually majorly bullish on Bitcoin, if I'm being honest. I'm more bullish on smart contract blockchains um, or oracles or, or, or useful. I'm not saying Bitcoin isn't useful, but blockchains that have a abundance of use cases and roles which they can fit um, than I am perhaps Bitcoin. And I, I really do believe that just like the internet you know, Apple that came out of the PC revolution, largest company in the world, Microsoft PC revolution, uh, third largest company in the world, Alphabet, um, the uh, internet revolution, fourth largest company in the world, Amazon, internet revolution, fourth lar largest company in the world. You've got Exxon Mobile, um, you've got Visa, you know, th these are all, uh, when, when it's new technology is birthed, it goes through the exact same cycle, just like, the dot-com boom, which got to $8 trillion at its height, by the way, guys. Crypto only ever got to three. Um, just like the dot-com boom, you get these boom and busts. You know, there were so many co so many companies out there. All you had to do in the dot-com boom, just like in crypto, all you have to do is call, call something an NFT or, or, or whatever it is. All they did in the dot-com boom, many companies were stuck dot-com at the end of the name, and they got to insane valuations. And this is really what caused the boom and bust, although we know there was internal reasons for it. Um, and I'm essentially here to say that this is the trajectory that, using Amazon as an example, the blockchain industry is on. This will look, this current period, it, and this is only applies to the right blockchains that actually get real adoption. We've not seen real adoption, even in the slightest in comparison with where potentially it may end up uh, this cycle. We've not seen anything. You know, if you look at, we're moving away from speculation to um, usage and utility. We're moving away from speculation to adoption. There's always going to be speculation. Of course, that's never going to go away. But the next 
or the phase that crypto is moving into as a technology is that adoptive phase where it gets adopted. I mean, for me, it's already done bloody well. Blockchain is a technology. How many technologies are birthed and then the central banks around the world all jump towards it, you know, and launch their CBDCs and actually say, look, we want to run it the FX market on blockchain. And, and what Larry Fink was saying, and we'll play this clip. We played it in an early video, but it's good to do it. And then we'll look at a little bit of Wells Fargo um, article, um, which I have also shown on this channel a number of occasions. Um, and then I'll sort of love and leave you. But the, the main message here, guys, is don't give up on this industry because it's going to change your lives if you stick it out for the long haul. Uh, and we know things are doom and gloom right now. I mean, the stock market's getting killed today. Uh, Tesla's down nearly 10%, guys. You know, it's crypto's fearing significantly better. Uh, we know what's happening right now. It's all just a game of liquidity. And I can show you that. You know, we, we show this consistently on my daily updates. Housing sold off. Everything sold off. Gold will sell off. Everything will sell off as a result of what the Federal Reserve are doing. This is the fastest hiking cycle we've ever seen from the Federal Reserve. So let's play this clip. We did play it earlier. Let's get into it. Then let's wrap this video up. Um, and you can see the whole markings are here, guys. You know, obviously, we know that this came out of the PC revolution. Didn't really do anything. The technology wasn't really adopted. Got caught up in the dot-com boom. Boom. Adoption. And then what's this? Yeah, it's the price. But really, what this is, is users. Metcalf's law. Crypto's still yet to embark on that. You know, if you look at something as useful as the likes of Chainlink, wow. Or... Polkadot, Cosmos, Cardano, you know, many of these other coins out here. Ethereum, potentially BNB if they don't get completely regulated out of, the, out of existence by the SEC and given after FTX. That's another video I've got to do. Um, but let's play this clip and then let's sort of round things off. ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. You don't need trust banks. We'll leave it there. You know, you get the gist of what he's saying. He's saying everything's going to be tokenized. Tokenized how? Via blockchain. Well, who's going to do that? You know, are companies out there going to have their own dApps? Or are they going to have their own layer ones built on top of the layer zeros like Cosmos and Polkadot? This is the future and the, and the world that we're moving towards. Not only is the financial system, and this is what Wells Fargo spoke about, third or fourth largest bank in America. Um, you know, they likened... Let me find it. They likened, we believe digital assets are as transformative um, or on a par with the internet, tech rev, cars, motoring industry, tech revolution, and electricity. Oddly, they may be one of the easier transforma transformative innovations to grasp at this early stage. The reason is they have present comparables, the internet. And they speak about, this is the internet of value, uh, sorry, the Internet of Information, which is the current Internet that we're communicating over. This is the Internet of Value that we're moving into. Everything is going to be cross-border. Vladimir Putin, um, who I know it may not be a, a good time to mention him, but recently came out and said, we need an international settlement service that isn't owned by anyone and operates on its own. What's he talking about there? He's talking about blockchain. He's talking about an immutable ledger that everyone can use and everyone can view. And, and finance is actually... It's probably the largest use case for blockchain. Um, it's also the largest industry in the world. Um, but there are many. You know, you can you can do far more. I mean, I come from a dental background. We could do record keeping. We could do inventory, supply chain. We could do patient records, so on and so forth through blockchain. And some of the blockchains that are here today will be the facilitators of that and moving the world into a... Um, you know, really innovating the world. This is this is nothing, guys. Let's even pull up a bigger chart to give you a little bit um, a history of Bitcoin. This is nothing. Nothing at all, guys, in comparison with where this is going. Yes, we still think there's more downside to come. You know, watch our daily market updates because we tell you everything that we think is going to happen for the markets. But, you know, Amazon... 
you're going to have these ebbs and flows. And potentially, actually, we've called for the dot-com boom being here and comparable to 2017. Potentially, this has a lot more similarities to what the crypto space is currently going through today. As is a, a depression on the back end of it. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, we drew this ages ago, by the way, guys. Maybe something like that plays out. I'm not sure what I was looking at here. But maybe this is that dot-com boom and bust period where there's a recession on the back end of it. And then we go on. It's not even started its journey. It's not even started its adoptive cycle. This is just Bitcoin. You know, you can replicate this through altcoins. But it's an extremely exciting future um, ahead of us, ahead of the crypto investors, and ahead of the the, the sort of... Uh, you know, pioneers or, 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 or visionaries in regards to seeing where this space is going. And I don't want you guys to lose hope um, because I certainly haven't. And in fact, I've never been more bullish on the long-term outcome of the crypto space and some of these cryptocurrencies than I have today. This is the world that we are moving towards, guys. Get with the program. Yes, the price is going down and people call crypto a scam, but look at the stock market today. Same people will be defending Tesla, which is insanely overvalued, by the way or Apple, or many of these stocks out here. Um, you know, don't uh, ignore jealousy. You know, gold selling off. Everything's selling off basically on, 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 the, on the pretense that, um, you know, liquidity is going to become a lot more scarce and, and has to sort of be redirected. Anyway, that's all I've got for you in this video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, like, as always, appreciate it as a comment, and look forward to seeing you all in the next YouTube video. Have a wonderful Thursday, guys. See you in the next one.